Hey guys, uh, I just want to do a little comparison between these two knives right here. Uh, the one on the left you see is my relatively new Strata SNG. I've had it for a few days. And I've actually been carrying this knife every day since. Uh, this, this knife just carries so great. Um, really solid lockup. And, uh, you know, it's a bit crunchy, as Dark Child 57 would say. Um, but the pivot is very smooth now. Um, and the lockup is definitely, I mean, like, disengaging the lock bar is definitely a lot easier than before. Uh, so I just wanted to make a quick comparison between these two knives right here. Um, if you haven't seen this one before, this is actually my Eric Elson Dreadlock Light. Eric Elson is a, you know, pretty young Canadian knife maker, and he's pretty new to the game. And, uh, you know, he's, he's making really great pieces. Um, the reason I'm comparing these two is that they're both pretty high dollar, and actually pretty similar in price point. Um, SNGs, if you get them new, depending on what kind you get, are anywhere from the high 300s to the high 400s. Um, so, it's not a cheap knife. Um, and the Eric Elson Dreadlock here, I think you can find them on most custom knife websites for about 430 Um, well, I'm not actually sure about that. Uh, I think they're about... 4.30 or so. Um, but I picked mine up at a big discount, 3.35, so I was happy with my purchase. Um, so these knives are probably going to be within $50 of each other if you decide to pick one up. Um, and they both have, you know, that same tactical motif to them, so that's why I'm doing a little size comparison and a little talk about them. Um, I'm only going to spend a few minutes on this, though. Um, first thing I want you guys to know is actually how similar the handles are. Um, the Eric Elson Dreadlock Light definitely has a more organic look to it. Um, the handles are much more rounded. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean by organic, you know. Um, there's a lot of, like, geometric, you know, right angles and everything on the Strider. You got that, you know, sharp angle here. You know, the completely flat backside. Um, but actually, if you, you know, take a little bit of a step back and you look at these knives, they actually have very similar handles. Um, basically what you got, is your main choil here, okay, then you got an area here for the second choil, you got a flat top here, and then relatively flat run down the back, uh, jimbing in roughly the same place, um, and, uh, basically this, you know, this way, this end here, with the jimbing back here, and the shorter has that too. Uh, you know, whether or not, you know, it's a, like a copy of one another, you know, I can't really say that, but it definitely seemed to have a similar motif to them. Uh, even the blade, you know, what 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 is exposed of the blade is uh, very similar looking. Um, you know, I've actually heard the Eric Elson Dreadlock Light to be said as a combo of the SNG and the Hinder XM18. Um, so, here it is open. And you can see they have pretty similar blade shapes. Uh, first of all, you got the double choil system, which is um, really nice on both knives. Um, I haven't reviewed this knife in full yet. Uh, no, I have like the SNG, um, but the SNG probably has more coverage as of, as of now. Um, but this knife has some of the sharpest jimbing you'll ever see. I mean, it's just on the verge of being like very painful, but it's not quite there, and it's actually pretty comfortable. Um, you know, you got the second choil here, like you do on the SMG. Um, you know, also construction is the same. They both have a G10 handle here. Um, orange and green G10, respectively. You got a, you know, nice thick blade. And then you got titanium frame lock. Um, I'll talk about this little G10 protector here during my review. But I just wanted to, you know, talk about how similar these knives were. Um, I'm basically running out of time on my camera. Um, you know, not much memory left. Um, I mean, but these are actually very similar knives. Um, so if you're de if a fan of the SNG, maybe you have one already, or, you know, maybe you're looking for something just a little hair different from the SNG, but you want to still keep that tactical motif. Um, look at Eric Elson's work. He does great work. I mean, it's not, you know, 100% perfect, but it has that, you know, handmade feel to it that just really, you know, makes the knife a lot more charming, in my opinion. So that's a little comparison of the uh, Strider SNG and the Eric Elson Dreadlock Light. I basically only talked about the handles, but you can see from here, 
Um, they're actually very similar knives. I don't know if it's just my eye, maybe, but, I mean, there's so many details on these knives that are similar. Um, you know, besides the handle shape, you know, you got a frame lock protector, whether it be G10 or, you know, the hinder lock stop. You got the thumb studs as the blade stops, basically. A very similar size blade. All that's pretty similar. So, uh, that's my comparison. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.